Okay. The underlying energy that we're working with for this reading this week is the Page of Pentacles. So this is in regards to an offer giving um, offer to you or are you planning on offering something to someone else? This is in regards to something stable though. As you see the Pentacles represents Earth energy and Earth is very grounding energy. Um, so this is definitely in regards to something grounded, something very um, something um, very um, solid given giving an offer of giving as far as something being stable um this also means could mean paying attention to the details um and boring tedious work but we'll see as the reading goes on the problem circumstance is the three of cups so this is in regards to a group so this is the community um to me this may speaks of there's an issue in regards to uh, the people you are around, the people you are you, know, you associate yourselves with. Um, this could also mean this is uh, in regards to friends and, um, like I said, community. So maybe there's an issue within your community. Um, that's where it centers around the problem anyway. And what's crossing you is the Queen of Wands. So possibly you're not being very social. You're not interacting with a lot of people at the moment. You're possibly not being um, that go-getter personality that the Queen of Wands is. What you want, though, is to offer love or for someone to offer you love. Um, or, every, or you're focused very much on your love life and what you're, how you're feeling and what you want. Um, this is possibly what you're dealing with. You could also be dealing with a, a young uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or... Um, or cancer um or someone that seems very um immature in a in, in some small ways or big ways um or it could it could just be someone that comes in with characteristics of um rom for rom like all that characteristics for romance but characteristics that are in regards to romance um sweep you off your feet sorry sweep you off your feet mentality um he is a romantic knight, so uh, this could be someone that you're dealing with. This is something that you want to do. You want to be more romantic. You want to come off more romantic. This is probably what you want in your crowning energy. Um, in the past, you have the hermit. So you, in the past, you had time to go off on your own. You were being reclusive. You were taking a re time out from the world, retreating into yourself to find the answers that you need. Um, so you possibly did, you know, do, you know, take some time out for yourself. In the present, though, you have the Five of Wands. So there's some challenges coming on right now, some um, conflicts. Um, we'll go ahead and clarify that later on to see what exactly what kind of conflict is going on in your present. And in the future, you have the Four of Swords. So that's good to see, especially after the Five of Wands. You gotta take, you'll be able to take some time out to rest. So that is wonderful to see. Let's go ahead and start clarifying this, some cards here. So that we can better, under, better understand the three. All right, what is the three of cups in the problem circumstance? Uh huh. So problem circumstance is clarified by the two of one. So this is figuring out which way to go, what path to, path to take. So this is in regards to community, um, friendship. Um, so this is also celebrating. Um, this is support as well. So maybe you're deciding um, which, way, which way to go. And this is a decision that has to be made. And um, in regards to some support or maybe... Um, Hmm. Perhaps you're taking action in regards to your friendship or, hmm, I don't think that's true. Um, there's definitely something in regards to the community and making a decision. Definitely something that has something to do with friends as far as making a decision. 
And why is the Queen of Wands bothering you? Queen of Wands could also be someone that is a that is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, um, Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius. That could be someone that is helping you with the decision that you have to make. So you could be, you could have support in regards to a decision that needs to be made about where you want to go in your life. And the Queen of Wands is helping you. Or maybe you're, maybe you perhaps you, you're, you don't have a lot of confidence. You're not being outgoing, but it could be someone that's supporting you in the decision you have to make. What is the Queen of Pentacles, oh, Queen of Wands, excuse me. What is the Queen of Wands? Okay, so the Queen of Wands came up twice and it's in regards to travel. So you're making a decision right now. The crossroads is speaking of which path you have to go into. And the Queen of Wands is exactly that. This is so many that um, that is possibly far away. I'm thinking possibly this is speaking of a long distance relationship. It could be speaking of a long distance relationship for those of you that aren't. This is about traveling somewhere. This is about going somewhere, um, moving. Um, but this is in regards to the Queen of Wands. So somebody that's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right. Please explain the crowning energy, Knight of Cups. Please explain the crowning energy, Knight of Cups. Oof, that's too many. Please explain the Knight of Cups. Please explain the Knight of Cups and crowning energy. Wow. Well, interesting. You have death and the king of wands. So this is something to do with a partnership because as you see, the queen of wands clarified the queen of wands that's crossing you from the, uh, from the heart of the reading. And what you want is mm, to be the king of wands, to be that partner. To be the um the partner of this wands um but you also want change death is a very slow change um it's gradual you feel it and it happens um but you want to express love for the for this wands for this fire sign and you want some change as well yeah, I hope to change your status, maybe. Hmm. For those of you that aren't meeting a wands or have a wands in your life, or have, have a fire sign in your life, it could be someone that's very passionate, very creative, very um, playful and exciting. You could also be, you could also see him as ex very sexy, but I mean, any partner is very sexy, correct? Like, if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or you, if you have a wife or a husband, um, to you, they are sexy. So I'm biasedly look at it, I guess. What is the emperor? What is the, sorry, the emperor. <laughs> what is the hermit in the past? Please clarify the hermit in the past. Uh-huh. The power so this speaks of unexpected an unexpected event that causes you to to be by yourself to take that moment to retreat so you took so i mean honestly who wouldn't right something unexpected i'm not sure if it was for the good or for the better where you went off on your own to go ahead and kind of heal and um and um kind of just rebuild yourself in a way that's what caused you in the past to go ahead and retreat. The five of wands in the present, please. The 
the world. Huh. So there's some conflict in regards to successful completion going on in your life. So you're trying to complete a cycle. Or you're in the process of completing a cycle and it's a little difficult for you. That's understandable. I get that. All right. What is the four of swords? Where are we, why are we getting the four of swords in the future? I mean, honestly, who, taking a break is awesome. But... What else? What other information can we get for the future? What other information can we get for the Four of Swords here and in your future? Uh huh. So, Eight of Pentacles. So you put a lot of work in. Um, you put a lot of hard work in though, as you see, he's kind of, he's looking at all the, the designs he's making with that hammer. He's, it's, he's, um, blacksmithing pentacles right now. That's a lot of work, man. Whacking away at the hammer it can really do a number on your hand. So, um, jokes aside, this is a base off of all that work you put in and you're taking that rest in the future to you. Um, basically enjoy your successful completion. I think that's pretty good. This is a very interesting love life for you guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is definitely in regards to... Um, definitely in regards to your relationship at the moment. Or uh, This is actually about you more so, actually. Um, so, honestly, the Page of Pentacles for this whole reading, to better understand it, it's about um, paying attention to details and uh, slow, tedious work. Also, this definitely speaks of a stable um, offer here. Because we, because in your heart of the reading, you have support in regards to a decision you have to make in regards to what path you're wanting to take. Um, but what's, cross, what, this, what's crossing you, um, I think, honestly, the, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I don't think she's getting in the way, or he is getting in the way. This air sign, this fire sign, I think they might be, um, however, it possibly being that support for you. Um, it possibly being that support for you um, in regards to um, traveling. It might be um, far away from you because Six of Swords is not travel, it's also distance. So this is someone that's possibly, um, that's possibly far away from you. Um, um, but she is, he or she is the person that is uh, possibly giving you support and help and possibly helping you or um, hindering you in which way you want to go. Um, but what you want though is to offer love to, to the wants care person, um, which will result in some change, which you are wanting as well. And then, um, you're, in the past here, though, what, what we're working with is you being off on your own, retreating due to an unexpected event. Um, in the present, though, you work, you're working on some challenges um, in the present in regards to a, a successful completion. And then in the future, you have a chance to rest from all that hard work that you put in. It's wonderful, guys. Call in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So probably this is about your soulmate. This is definitely about your soulmate. You guys, whatever you guys are going through at the moment, you have all the power. I believe in you. You guys got this. Let's go ahead and pull a wisdom of the oracle card for you. Okay. The tribe came up for you guys. Okay. Let's get a look at this card here. It's beautiful. Look at the giraffes. And the number eight. So let's go ahead and take a look at that.
Essential meanings. Community, belonging, being seen and understood by others. Like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, you're knowing your place in the world. So that kind of basically sums up the three of cups there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on to the Oracle message. This card signals a new affirmation with a group. Humans are creative characters, creatures, and we need to know, we need to know um, we are useful to our tribes, families, and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels I matter. Memberships in the group um, provide a sense of belonging and kinship and of purpose um, that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an creative one. Because um, the wands are very are very creative. Interesting. Um, perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your con your contribution may be as small as showing showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the tribe, your presence is needed. Now, the relationship, relationship message. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with each other and perhaps also those you don't you don't share. There are there are times when you follow and the other person leads. The times when you lead and the other person follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws and is part of that dance. Yet, you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You are in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you are for who you can be together. Wow. So that's really interesting that I said all of that because the three of want three of cups, like I said before, it speaks of community. Perhaps you're trying to find where you belong in that sense. And um, the Queen of Wands, it speaks of yeah, actually possibly um, the meaning of the characteristic or the characteristic of the card. So that an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you wanting to be more creative for those of you that are single um, or maybe wanting to start a new passion or good with starting up projects and you're looking for that. You're looking for that place. You're looking to be for that sense of belonging. Um, so that is interesting. Now, one thing I did almost forget to do, and I usually don't forget to do this now, since this is kind of my new thing here, this is a whole spread here, which I created here, is the Page of Cups. So this is the beginning. This is, this is the Page of Cups. This is speaking of offering new love. So this is offering love. Or beginning um, this emotional journey. This is also an emotional message. Pages are messages and they're also um, projects, I think. Um, but we're going to go with um, offering new love. Um, and to clarify your outcome... You have, you have the Ten of Cups. So this speaks of happiness, emotional fulfillment. So, man, that's awesome. You got a beginning and an ending to clarify. Let me just show you here. You have a beginning and an ending. You have the beginning as your outcome and an ending for to clarify. So this is about emotional fulfillment. You're happily ever after. The ending of an emotional cycle. 